Mr. Bulkati. Thank you, Stefan. Uh, Russian Defense Ministry today, it's about the IAA mission to the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Russian Defense Ministry today stated that uh, the Ukrainian group of saboteurs tried to uh, attempted to um, seize, to capture the station in order to use the mission as a human shield. So they were neutralized, according to the Defense Ministry, and uh, the officials of Russian Defense Ministry express bewilderment, I quote, uh, due to the lack of reaction of the UN Secretary General to this incident. Do you have any reaction in this regard? You know, we're, we are glad that the Russian Federation did what it needed to do to keep uh, keep our the, the inspectors uh, safe. I think uh, our security people, our drivers have done a tremendous job in getting uh, the IEA inspectors in. Um, they will continue to support the mission until it ends. And it is, um, like with any UN uh, mission, it is the responsibility of those uh, in um, uh, who have uh, power over a certain area and who are responsible for a certain area to keep uh, UN staff uh, safe. Edward. Uh, just to follow up, uh, because you said the UN would uh, offer the logistics and the security support to the mission in Zaporizhia. Um, are there any UN security um, personnel with the, the, the mission? Yes. Uh, so so since, since, since there are people from the UN security uh, the, there, uh, you know, before this, Ukrainian side and Russian side, they are accusing each other of shelling or sabotaging the, the nuclear plant. So now UN has the first hand, I mean, at least security personnel there, so they can make a judgment now. First of all, they don't. They don't have. The, these are people who are there to provide close security. They are not there to do ballistics, right? They don't have the the, the know how. They don't have the technology, nor do they have the mandate to do logistic, uh, you know, ballistics assessment, uh, looking at shells that come in, where they came in, making. Uh, that's just not their their job. Their focus uh, is to keep our people safe, uh, working with the uh, the authorities. Uh, who are in charge in the areas in which uh, they are located. Okay, another question is on the uh, fact-finding mission of Oleni uh, Vik, yeah. Vik, yeah. sorry. It's okay. Uh, we, we haven't heard a lot, a lot from, from the mission after you announced three names on the, on the mission. What's going on there? Any the, new the, development? The contacts are continuing uh, with the Russian Federation, uh, with, the, the, with Ukraine on uh, ensuring the, the safe passage uh, of the mission, which I think both sides have, uh, have welcomed. I mean, I, I saw General uh, Santos Cruz uh, this morning, uh, and that's exactly what he told me.